Hi, it's Yunus from Aerial Practice. This is the channel where you can find how I practice aerial dance starting as a beginner. I always like to start off with a big welcome for everybody. If you're new, I invite you to click the subscribe button to join our future practice. Today's video is the second beginner sling flow in a low ceiling environment. As a musician, I'm really fond of using powerful orchestra music and today's music is one of my favorite Cantonese songs. Today, I'm setting my hammock between my knees and ankles for the maximum fabric space. I am stepping my right foot in the hammock. Let's practice one spin before the next step. I'm grabbing high, keeping my energy on my right leg, including the foot, standing directly under the wrecking point. I am moving my right leg out for one spin. and one more time. Now I'm ready for the next step. Swing the left leg up. See that I'm resting my hip on the fabric so I can let my left hand go. Bringing my left hand to the front of the silks Squeezing my left side small for a pose. Come back and both hands on the fabric again to standing. I bring my right leg in the front of the hammock. I am leaning my upper body down and bringing the right knee to my chest so I can hook it on the fabric. I'm using my hands to climb and bringing my body up. Leaning my shoulder against the fabric, straighten my leg to a split. I'm pulling myself up in the split position. Notice how the hammock changes position. I'm grabbing the fabric in front. I'm bringing my left hand close to my foot, transferring the weight from the foot to my hands. Now I'm ready to release my foot and bend the knee. My hands are holding strong to help me to maintain my position. To finish up, I am bending both of my knees to roll up into a ball. Let me show you one more time on the other side. Left foot in the hammock, energy on the left leg, including the foot. Slowly turning the leg out and begin the spin. Swing the right leg up, hip leaning on the fabric, prepare the right hand. Bring the right hand to the front. and squeezing the right side small. Return and grab the fabric. Replace the left foot as it goes to the front and to the side. Left knee to the chest and hook. I'm climbing up and leaning the right shoulder in split.
pulling up in the split position. Grabbing the fabric, release my foot and bend the knee for the final pose. Now I'm curling up and finish. Let's see the full dance with music. Before you go today, I want to share with you this amazing discovery from my practice. This hammock, it's beautiful, but it's actually one of my least favorite hammock because it's so silky and it makes it really hard to hold on, especially if I'm practicing inverts, for instance. But since I don't really have sweaty hands, I never really use any products to help me to have extra grip strength. But then I got this bottle in the mail and then I tried it for the first time and I was completely shocked with the results. After I spray it, my hands felt very sticky right away. The feeling is kind of like you're having honey in your hands. So I was immediately worried, is this going to make my fabric stick together? But as I grabbed the hammock, I felt like there was invisible duct tape that is like helping me to keep my grip where it is without gripping extra hard that it would hurt my joints and fingers. The most amazing thing is that it didn't leave any residue on the hammock. I was so happy about this. I was also so relieved to find that washing my hands with soap and water actually can get them off. You will still feel a little bit of it, but most of them just come off and my hands still feel amazing after. And then I start to wonder what is this magical bottle made of? If you want to know more information, you can find them on my site. If you're looking for a grip solution, I would suggest you to give this a try. I'm going to try them next time when I go to bordering too. I hope you enjoyed today's practice and thank you for joining us today. See you in next week's videos. Mm -hmm.